coming to you from FBA at Shannon Forest, Studio 402. This is Crusader Network News. Before our spring break, 
We showed you this box of Cheerios and asked you to guess how many you thought were in the container. It's time to reveal the winner. Congratulations to Mrs. Spurgeon's first grade class. They guessed 810 Cheerios. Well, that was the closest guess. It was still pretty far off. There were actually 1,260 Cheerios. Can you believe it? They will get to enjoy these yummy blow pops as their prize. We'll have a new container of items on the next show, so stay tuned. Thanks for jumping on the Guess Express. Thanks, Sophia. I had no idea there were that many Cheerios in that container. I didn't need them. Good job, Bull Skydos. Mrs. Kinley's and Mrs. Cook's fourth grade classes have been studying tall tales. These students wrote their own and presented them in class right before the spring break. They dressed as their tall tale characters and some even brought props. Here they are to tell us who they were. Miss Kirk and Miss Kenley's fourth graders have been working for a few weeks writing their very own original tall tale. Today they came to school dressed as the character that they wrote about and presented their tall tales to the fourth grade. So now you get to meet some of the new tall tale characters that they have invented. My character's name is Georgia. She was known for riding the strongest horse in the world. My character's name is Savannah and she loves water. There was a girl named Savannah and she lived in Georgia. Everyone in town loved her. She loved everyone and everything. She loved water so much she could walk on it. She would swim for three days. She loved building with blocks at home. She went on so many fishing trips my character's name is Ryder, and he's famous for tricking the bat 60 of the world's baddest robbers. I am James, and he loves to tame animals and go on adventures. My character is John the Giver Jones, and he always sells food to homeless people. My character is Camp Clark Campbell and he is the strongest man in the world, and he was general in the war. My name is Austin Nye, and he was the person that traveled through Oregon Trail. My name is Cowboy Bill, and I'm the best massacre in the state of Texas. Once there was a cowboy named Cowboy Bill. He was the tallest, strongest man in the state of Texas. Everyone knew him. He was a kind man. Everyone knew him because he lasted the whole Pacific Ocean. Once when he was 25, he found pioneers on a trail stuck in a mud pit. He left it and it weighed 1,500 pounds. My character is Marcia Macaroni and he was the richest and riskiest person in the state of Kansas. My character is Tama Texas and she's known for the sweetest cowgirl in Oregon. My character is Jenna, and she went down history for the best fashion My character is Wendy the Wagoneer, and she was the wackiest person in Wisconsin. My character is Isabella, and she's the prettiest slash fanciest girl in New Mexico. My character is Mayflower. She grew all the plants from Pennsylvania to Oregon. Have you ever wondered how the Great Redwood grew or how the state of Oregon came to be so beautiful? Well, I know the story, the story of Mayflower. It was long ago, way back before the time of Westward expansion. She was a nine-year-old girl dressed in a tan skirt and mint shirt with a horse on it. May has often been seen with a blue paintbrush. Some say it's to paint the sky with. My character is Kijisai Dodo and he was the fastest person in the USA at age 10. My character is Bella Hickman. She is the smartest girl in the state of Texas. My character's name is Robert Rich Jr. He was the richest man that walked the earth. My character's name is Hunter Jax. He is a soccer superstar and is known for creating his business. Hunter Jax was born in Boston, Massachusetts. He was born on December 25th, 1999. He was three when he moved to Asheville, North Carolina. 
He was a short boy, but he was like the Flash, the Hulk, and super competitive. He could run from one end of the field to another in .05 seconds. That was fun to watch. They had some great ideas for new tall tales. Now it's time to celebrate some very special people around our school. Here's Coley Goodman with our Magnificent Nine for this week. We have some pretty awesome students at our school. God created all of us unique and special. Each week on Crusader Network News, we announce nine students and teachers to celebrate and pray for. Here are our Magnificent Nine for this week. First grader, Rainier Lapp. Fifth grader, Julia Stater. Music teacher, Mrs. King. Fifth grader, Izzy Ledger. Second grader, Heath Ledford. K-5 friend, Asher Chapman. Second grader, Abby Parker. Fifth grader, Lucila Villar. And second grader, Abby White. Please post these names somewhere in your classroom to remind you who to pray for for this week. We have a special bookmark to give you to remind you just how special you are to God and for us. Congratulations! Thanks, Carly. Please pray for those students and teachers this week. That's our show for today. Remember to always try your best and do everything in a way that brings glory and honor to God. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.